Hey guys, my name is Julie, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to be trying some makeup products for the first time and also attempting to tint my eyebrows. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications. So without further ado, let's get into the makeup. I didn't have a new moisturizer to try, so today I am using the Revolution Hydration Boost Lightweight Hydrating Gel Cream. For primer, I am trying the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. If I can open it. How the heck are you supposed to get into this thing? Can I do it in one go? A lot more liquidy than I thought it was gonna be. It reduced the look of my pores a little bit, did make my face feel nice and smooth. I don't have a new foundation to test either, so I'm just going to use my Revolution Conceal and Divine Full Coverage Foundation in F1. So for concealer, I'm trying the Revolution Conceal and Define Infinite Longwear Concealer. It says it has 16 hour wear, 20% more coverage, and it is crease proof. I'm using the shade C0.1. It didn't quite cover quite a dark blemish I have on the side of my face. I'm gonna have to go in with some more. So the shade is definitely too light for me. I think I'd have to go a couple shades darker for it to cover my blemishes without looking very different compared to my foundation. It did take two coats to cover the blemish on the side of my face, but other than that, I think it did a pretty good job. I really like the concealer. For powder, I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Ballers Press Powder in the shade 110 Porcelain. So so the powder comes with a little mirror and a sponge, but I will just use a makeup brush instead. I really like that powder, it evened out my skin tone nicely, corrected the colour difference between the concealer and my foundation, and it also looks really nice on my face. For contour, I am trying the Revolution Ultra Contour Kit Lightning Contour in 02, if I can get it open. I'm going to be using the middle contour shade, so it comes with a powder, a contour, and looks like a cream highlight. I'll just be using the middle contour shade, probably very lightly, because I think it might be too dark for me. I did think it was going to be too dark, but if you use it really lightly, it doesn't come off too pigmented. I think it looks quite nice. It did get a bit stuck here, so it kind of looks a bit patchy. Maybe I didn't powder properly over there. Overall, it's not the product. I think it was more my fault. But it might be a little bit too warm toned to be a contour, maybe more of a bronzer. So for blush, I am using a little compact Nutrimedics blush. It doesn't have a shade name. I got it in a Nutrimedics advent calendar, so it's just a really light shimmery pink color. Oh dang, that's pigmented. So that was very pigmented, but after buffing it out, I think it left a nice rosy look to my cheek. So I have two highlighters to choose from today. I have the Revolution Platinum Ingot Highlighter and the Revolution Haunted Lights Highlighter, which was part of their Halloween collection. So I'm just gonna swatch them and then decide after that. Wow. So I don't know if you can see, but the Ingot Highlighter is a very white highlight and the Halloween one is got a bit of a green tinge to it. I think I'm going to go with the Revolution Latinum Ingot Highlighter. I really like that highlighter. It's very glowy, almost kind of subtle but buildable and it hasn't caused any white casting on my face. Okay, so next up is eyebrows, which means it is time to tint my eyebrows. I'm using the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Gel Tint in Grey Brown. Let's hope that is my shade. So it says it is a breakthrough peel off formula, long lasting results. I need to apply it to my eyebrows, let it dry for at least 20 minutes and then peel it off. So I'm not going to use the applicator that it comes with, which looks like that. I am going to put it on an eyebrow brush and then apply it to my eyebrows. It has a very unusual smell. So 
I'm not actually sure how thick I'm supposed to apply this, but so far the color looks okay. Well, I seem to have made a mess of that eyebrow. So I have the gel tint on my eyebrows and I have about three minutes left. We're going to move into the eyeshadow. So I have two products for eyeshadow that I'm going to try today. I have the Revolution Ultra Eyeshadows Beyond Flawless Palette and the Revolution Liquid Highlighter in Liquid Rose Gold, which is too dark for me to use as a highlighter. So I'm going to try to use it as a liquid eyeshadow topper instead. Palette doesn't exactly have many mattes so I'm going to try and use one of the only mattes in it just to put all over my lid so we have a bit of a base to go with so I am using shade number five which is sand dune and I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelid so that was the alarm to remove the gel tint from my eyebrows so let's pause on the eyeshadow and try and peel this stuff off So it's definitely tinted my eyebrows. It might be slightly too dark, but I think I can get away with it because I have quite dark brown hair, so it doesn't look too bad. It did fill in the gaps in my eyebrows quite nicely. Overall, I'm really happy with it. I would definitely use this product again to tint my eyebrows. Let's get back to the eyeshadow. I'm still using the shade Sand Dune, just going in my crease, trying to darken it up. I've actually just noticed a darker matte shade, so I think I might use that one now to make my crease a little bit darker. So that is shade 13, Brunette. So the shades aren't very pigmented. I've tried to darken it up as much as I can. Now I'm just gonna take the same shades underneath my eye. The eyeshadow palette is mostly made up of shimmer shades, which all look really nice, but I really wanted to try and use the liquid highlighter as an eyeshadow and see if that would work. It's just in a little dropper. I'm going to put some on the back of my hand and just use my finger to place it on my eye. Okay, I didn't think this through because now how am I going to hold the mirror? Oh god, I'm already making a mess everywhere. Okay, one eye done. Now I have to wait for it to dry and try not to get it all over my eye. I'm just gonna try and put a second coat on there, see if I can get some more shimmer. It's a really great shimmer highlighter. Only problem is that when my eye is open and it's still wet and drying, my eyelid will stick to itself and pull the highlighter off my eyelid. So it's a little bit patchy. Obviously it's just meant to be used as a highlighter. Because it's gone all patchy now, I might put a shimmer from the palette that I've been using over the top just to even out the coloring on my eye a little bit. Decided to use shade 19, which is Autumn. So that definitely helped. It doesn't look patchy anymore and the shade matched perfectly with the highlighter. So I'm just going to blend out around the shimmer eyeshadow with some of the brunette shade. Moving on to eyeliner, I have the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Liquid Ink Liner 36 Hour Wear Tattoo Ink Intensity in the shade 001 Black. So it claims to be sweat resistant, smudge resistant, and no mess removal with a precision tip for easy control application. So it just looks like this. God damn it. Well, I shouldn't have tried to do a flick. Let's see if I can fix this up. Took a lot of trying, but I think I managed to make the eyeliner look okay. Definitely not the eyeliner's fault. I'm not very good at eyeliner in the first place, but it's very black with a very precise fine tip. Now it's time for mascara. I'm using the Maybelline Volume Express Mascara. It says it's waterproof, smudge proof, and flake proof. It's just purple packaging. I normally curl my eyelashes before I put mascara on them and afterwards, so I'm just going to do that now. Let's test this mascara. So from what I can see, it doesn't seem to be doing much for my eyelashes. It's kind of just clumping them together. It's very sticky. 
It definitely lengthened my lashes, but it's also quite a clumpy mascara. I applied two coats of the mascara and this is what they look like after curling them again. It's quite heavy on my eyelashes. So if you like a clumpy mascara, then I'm sure you will love this mascara. So moving on to lips. At the moment, I'm just wearing the Maybelline Baby Lips Lip Balm in Lychee Addict. So for lipstick, I have Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Lip Color in Troublemaker. Okay, doesn't smell too bad. Nice smell. I really love the shade. It's a really nice matte liquid lipstick. So lastly, setting spray. I have the Maybelline Lasting Fix Makeup Setting Spray. It says it lasts 16 hours and has a matte finish. A very purple bottle. Okay, so I think that got all over my bed and none on my face. Let's try that one again. So it has a very fine mist. It says to hold 20 to 25 centimeters away from your face, but when I did that, nothing got on my face. So I had to hold it closer. It looks really nice. Matte finish is really nice. Overall, I was really happy with it. So I forgot to do a brow highlight. So I'm gonna just do that quickly. So this is the finished look. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and comment down below your favorite product that I used. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.